was misled by my brother-in-law, and it ruined my relationship with my sister. Hi Reddit, first off, this is a long story, so please bear with me. It's not easy for me to talk about this, even with those I'm close to. For some background, I'm 24 f 23 at the time this happened, and I was living with my sister, K, 38 at the time, after going through a tough breakup with my ex of 3.5 years. I moved in with her right after turning 22. Growing up, she was the only family member I was really close to. She even helped raise me during my teenage years due to some issues with our mom. Moving in with her seemed like a fresh start while I figured things out. My brother-in-law, T, same age as K, has been in my life since I was 8. He and my sister have been together forever, so I always saw him as an older brother. During summers, I often stayed with them, and he never gave me a weird feeling. He treated me like a younger sister. Now that you understand our relationship, let's move forward to the event that shattered everything. On the night of August 10, 2023, I was hanging out with K and T, having some drinks. This was something we often did on weekends when we were all off work. T liked bartending and experimenting with new cocktails for K and me to try. I'd grab a drink and head back to my room to play games online with friends. That night, I had about half a margarita and one or two shots, not enough to get drunk. I told my friends on Discord I'd be back after grabbing a drink and chatting with K and T for a bit. But shortly after returning to my room, I started feeling really strange. This was about 30 to 45 minutes later. I felt disoriented, dizzy, and couldn't stand properly. I laid down on my bed, and from there, everything's a blur. I passed out with my laptop still on next to me, the lights on, and still in my pajamas. Around 3 to 4 in the morning, I started waking up. I had this eerie feeling that someone was in the room, and I felt my hand being touched. My instincts told me not to make it obvious I was awake. I shifted slightly, pulled my hand back, and waited. After a minute or two, the feeling of someone being there faded, though I never heard anyone leave the room. When I finally sat up, I noticed everything was different from how I left it. My laptop was turned off and moved, the lights were off, my pants were off, and my door was slightly open, I always locked my door. Feeling confused and foggy, I immediately called one of my friends who had been on Discord with me. They said that after I took my drink break, I came back sounding heavily intoxicated, slurring words and not making sense, even though I hadn't had that much. I apparently sat idle in the call for two hours before disconnecting. I told my friend everything I remembered, and he suggested I might have been drugged, urging me to get a drug test the next day. Feeling uneasy and still out of it, I barricaded my door and cried myself to sleep. The next morning, I woke up still feeling weird. I thought I was alone but ran into tea in the kitchen. I froze when I saw him, grabbed some water, and rushed back to my room. I was planning to call a friend to help me get a drug test. Part of me hoped I had just gotten drunk by accident, but then T knocked on my door. He said something like, you probably don't remember, but you asked me to come in last night to kill a bug. My stomach dropped, it felt like he was making an excuse to explain why he'd been in my room. I just nodded and went back to my room, crying. That same day, I took a drug test at a friend's house, and it came back positive for benzodiazepines. I decided to call my sister and tell her everything, expecting her support, but instead, she immediately went on the defensive, asking if I had taken anything myself. I told her no, that she knows I don't do drugs. We went back and forth, and she said she needed to talk to T. Over the next few days, I was still staying at my friend's place, and my sister kept giving me mixed signals. She would say things like, there's your story and T's story, and I don't know which is true. It was like she didn't want to believe me, even though I had the positive drug test and all these weird occurrences. Every time I tried to make sense of what T said, the story would change. Eventually, K had to go on a business trip, and I was stuck at my friend's place for two weeks without access to my things at home. The explanation I was finally given was that K and T supposedly liked to put pills in their drinks after a stressful week, and I accidentally got one of T's drinks. T said he came into my room to check on me after realizing the mistake, but none of this made sense to me. Why wouldn't he say anything the next morning? And why were they putting pills in their drinks in the first place? I ended up moving far away and cutting off most contact with Kay. She stayed with T and acts like none of it ever happened. While I'm doing much better now, the memory of that night and the fallout with my sister still haunts me. I miss the relationship we had, and it hurts to know I'll never get that back. Thank you for reading my story. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Stay safe. Hmm.